In today's Celtic transfer update, Celtic's transfer rumours are really starting to hot up now. As the club confirmed the signing of Cameron Carter Vickers on Friday, the fans have been waiting on news of whether or not Jota will sign on permanently with the club. There is nothing coming out of Celtic or Jota's camp at the moment, but hopefully a deal is well along the way. This transfer update is about Mohanad G's. G's has been seriously linked with the hoops for a number of weeks now and journalist, Anthony Joseph, has dropped the latest update on the move for the Iraqi left back. They've already approached Mohanad G's at Hammerby, and talks progress to an advanced stage, is what I was told. They haven't gone any further yet, that doesn't mean the deal is off the cards, it just means nothing has progressed any further. This isn't the first time Anthony has dropped an update on G's. In fact, just a couple of weeks ago the trusted journalist dropped major transfer update and the Hammerby left back was also mentioned in that one. So it seems that Joseph is correct. Although the deal has run cold for a bit, at least we now know it is not dead in the water. The window might be just a couple of days old, but the Celtic hierarchy has already made its mark by bringing in Maeda and Carter Vickers. On top of those two, the Hoops are also trying to sign Jota, who's been in talks over a permanent deal since January. Celtic now appear in pole position to sign the Portuguese winger. Some people are still a bit nervous about this one, but I firmly believe it's not far off being announced. Reports from Portugal have been saying all along that Benfica have resigned themselves to losing the player. In fact, these reports surfaced quite a while back. Celtic are playing the media game now. It's all about taking up back page space. Let's drip feed the media and keep it all about Celtic. In other Celtic news from my part of the world, Harry Kewell linking up as part of Angie's coaching staff at Scottish champions Celtic is an exciting prospect for Socceroos captain Matey Ryan. Socceroos captain Matey Ryan believes Harry Kewell joining Angie Postecoglou's coaching team at Scottish champions Celtic would be a huge plus for Australian football. Former Socceroos star Kewell, a European Champions League winner during his playing days with Liverpool, is set to join Postecoglou's staff at Parkhead at the start of Celtic's pre-season later this month. It will be the first time the pair have worked together and Kewell's first assistant role after four managerial appointments in England's lower divisions since hanging up his boots in 2014. Another well-respected, and deservedly so, name in football linking up there with Angie from what I can see is only going to be a positive, Ryan told the Australian Associated Press. I wish them all the best if that is the case that eventuates that way and they are working together. Hopefully they can just keep growing a strong Australian name or respect in European football or in world football. The more respect they get, hopefully it's more and more opportunities for the Australian stars of tomorrow to get opportunities over in Europe, in the bigger and better leagues and those types of stuff. Kewell has been out of work since a stint with Barnett ended last year after just four months in charge of the National League side. He began his coaching career at the helm of Watford's under-23s from 2015-17 before landing his first head coaching role at Crawley Town in 2017. After impressing with Crawley, Kewell was lured to Notts County in 2018, but the move turned sour and he was sacked after just 14 games. In 2020, Kewell took over at Oldham Athletic but lasted less than a season before being dismissed in March 2021 with the club 16th in League 2. His most recent coaching job was with Barnett, becoming the club's 26th manager in their past 10 seasons, but after failing to get a win in seven matches, was again dismissed. Kewell will join Celtic for a big season in the Scottish club's history, with Angie set to become the first Australian to coach a team in the Champions League. After their Scottish Premiership triumph, in his first season at the helm. The manager picked him for a reason. And in Angie we trust. And on that note, have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party. Roll up to the